M0FXB, welcome to my channel and my videos on the ICOM ID52. FXB, let's add our jumbo hotspot to our ID52. So first thing is to come out of DR mode. So to get into DR mode, you hold down the DR button here at the bottom, and that's DR mode. To come out, you hold down DR. Now to keep it simpler, let's just go into single receive. So at the moment we're dual band, hold down the main dual here. Now we've got a single screen there and we're in, we're in, uh, we're not in DR mode. So now go menu and navigate, see this toggle knob here. Now navigate all the way across and then go, once you get the set, go to right and you'll see memory. So select memory and then select repeater list. Now you can choose which one you want or you can add a group. To add groups, you push quick here, but we're not gonna add a group. So let's go back. We're just gonna choose an existing group, one that I've created called local, and we're gonna select. And so these are the repeats, the other hotspots I've added into this radio. So let's say we wanna add another one. So click quick here and click add. So we're gonna name it, type is the DV repeater and then name, we'll call it, I'll do it short, we'll call it, um, call it H and S for hotspot, okay? Okay, we'll enter that. Then it's the sub name, that's up to you if you want to do that, I'm not going to now. Call sign, you definitely need to get your call sign in there. So well, I'll just put anything in there for now because it doesn't really matter for me. But you get your correct call sign in there. Okay, now it will automatically put a G in. So you, uh, you need to remember the G. What you do need to remember is that you may need to change that if you've got uh, your call sign in there twice. If you've got two hotspots in there, you might have to change the G. Anyway, go down. Group local, that's the group it's in. We'll leave that. Use from, I always turn that to yes. Frequency of your hotspot, which, in, which is in your jumbo hotspot. So let's put four, three, oh, 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 oh for now. Duplex, always select a plus or minus, always, or it won't work. Um, offset frequency, well, because it's a, a simplex hotspot, we're going to choose a zero offset. Now, if it's a repeater, then you'll need to put a shift in, a D, a, a, you know, a D star repeater. But ours is our hotspot, jumbo hotspot. Position, it's up to you if you want to be approximate. And if you want to put in your proper position, then uh, look that one up. On uh, I always just put, put it into Google. But anyway, we're just going to do a, a, a rough position here. Okay. And UTC offset, let's do plus one hour for UK. And then add right. There you go. So we've now got this hotspot that's called HS. It's only, a, you know, an example. So how do we find that? So we hold down DR. And now, see where we can select the the top in blue and the bottom in blue. Now the top, if you're using your jumbo hotspot, should be on use reflector. If you want to link to a reflector, click reflector and click link, unlink, echo test, or repeater, which tells you what you're connected to. So I would use use reflector. Then go down and select the bottom section. Now we're gonna find the hotspot we've just entered. So click enter, uh, go back to repeater list, go back to local where we put it, and then go down to HS, the one we've created, and then you're now using that hotspot. The key thing to remember is that when you're adding your hotspot, you have to come out of DR mode. You basically can't change it when you're in DR mode. You can find it, but you can't change it. So I hope this helps you add your jumbo hotspot to your ICOM ID52. Uh, if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe my channel, 73.